Welcome to Bollyfall's Origins. Today we're going to talk about a film that established anti-heroes in Bollywood. A film that had portrayed a violent love story. But before that, let's talk about its wonderful and iconic director, Yash Chopra. The legendary Indian director Yash Chopra is known for his dreamy romantic song sequences and lavish sets. And with that, he has delivered cult classics to the Indian movie goer. Yash Chopra started out with multi-star of family and communal harmony-based films in the 1960s, and then transitioned into content-driven films like Divar and Kabhi Kabhi. In the 1980s, Yashji's success had dried up, with only Sisila and Mashal striking gold. A string of flops followed. That was until he collaborated with the first female superstar of Indian cinema, Sri Devi, to give us Jandani, another breakout success. He followed Jandani with Lame, his most ambitious project, dealing with non-traditional themes, and though it was critically well received, it suffered at the box office. He followed it up with a flop, Parampara, which starred Amir Khan. And now, today, we're going to talk about a film that not only gave a legendary director the first of four consecutive hits, but a new superstar to Bollywood. The movie is Dar, and the superstar is Shah Rukh Khan. The casting process of this movie was very interesting as well as controversial. It's the most amazing piece of trivia you can find about Bollywood. Initially, Amir Khan, Divya Bharta and Sunny Deol were cast. Amir Khan insisted the role of Kiran be given to Juhi Chawla, his favourite co-star at the time. So, the cast changed to Amir, Juhi and Sunny Deol. But now, Amir Khan was sceptical about playing a negative character. Yash Chopra stated in an interview given to Uday Chopra that Amir was advised by his friends and relatives to opt out of the film. The film gave him a negative character and it would not suit him, they said. But the contrary reports suggest Amir Khan was unhappy about the film's climax and wanted his character to die at the hands of the heroine. Later, he vowed not to work with Yashraj films again until Fanar. Actors like Ajay Devgan, Sanjay Dutt were contacted, but scheduling and legal problems prohibited their participation in the project. Even TV actor Sudesh Bari auditioned for the role. Finally, SRK, a newcomer at the time, was contacted by Yash Chopra, and he was finally cast as the obsessive lover boy. SRK said in an interview that he left watching Lame halfway to meet Yashji for this particular role. Next up is the idea behind the story. Hrithik Roshan and Uday Chopra had seen the movie Dead Calm starring Nicole Kidman and insisted Aditya Chopra watch the movie. After he did, he liked the movie and the idea was conceived. Hrithik Roshan had also named one of his amateur movies Dar. Yash Chopra came to know about the name of Hrithik's amateur movie through Uday Chopra 10 years later in the very same interview we talked about earlier. SRK, the anti-hero. Yash Chopra revealed that when he pitched his idea to SRK, he willingly disclosed that he was playing the villain in Anjam, in which he had already starred, and was going to star as a villain in a movie called Jalbaz, which was later shelved. SRK found this script to be different and was very much excited to work on it. Finally, Contrary to the report that Amir Khan had offered him a role at an Eid celebration, SRK signed on to the film. Villain beats hero. Sunny Deol was given the choice of playing either an antagonist, Rahul, or the protagonist, Sunil. As expected, he chose the latter. But halfway through the movie, he was pissed off by his character's development. After the movie was released, instead of remembering the hero's dialogue and antics, the synagogues were humming the songs in which the villain was featured in the legendary Kekekekekirin. Sunny believed Sunil's character would be more acclaimed, but the reverse happened. The title Dud was already received by the popular horror filmmakers Sham and Tulsi Ramsey for their upcoming horror movie, but Yash Chopra requested the use of the title from them, and they agreed to let him use it. It was originally called Kirin. Some interesting facts about the film. This was Shiv Hari's last film as musical director duo. Leroy's song Danger Zone sampled the song Jadu Deri Nazar from the international album Bollywood Trip. 
during Tu Mere Samne, Kieran wears an outfit similar to what Sri Devi wore in Chandni in 1989, in which Jui Chawla had a cameo role. Anupam Kher's character uses cricketing terms and references in his dialogue. The film Dad was later remade in Kannada as Pritche, starring Upendra, a Kannada superstar. The film also inspired a real-life kidnapping of a snap deal executive in the NCR region of India in 2016. The film also had Yashji's trademark sequences in Switzerland. Making of the movie. The climax of the movie was inspired by Dead Calm and Cape Fear. The scene in which SRK stabs Sunny Dale's character features SRK's iconic evil laughter. These scenes irked Sunny Dale as he felt SRK's character was heavily favoured and his scenes were shot more precisely. Sunny Dale was unhappy with SRK's character saying the iconic dialogue, I love you, Kika Kiran. SRK's character can also be seen in phone conversations with his dead mother. These scenes draw inspiration from the movie Psycho. After Dar, SRK was cast in all of Yash Chopra's remaining movies as a lead actor. Their last collaboration was in 2012. Sadly, Yashji passed away before the release of their last collaboration, Jabda Kajan. The first post reported that SRK's anti-hero roles were modelled on Robert De Niro and his portrayal of similar roles. Glimpses of the stalker character of Rahul Mehra from this movie can be seen in the Yashraj Films production Fan coming out later this year. SRK has refuted the claims stating that Gwarav is not a psycho like Rahul was. Dar was the third highest grossing Indian film of 1993 after Anken and Kalnayak being declared a super hit at the box office. Shah Rukh Khan has become an A-lister through this movie and not by a family-based masala pot boiler, which was the trend at the time. And he's received a nomination for the best villain, which he later won for Anjam.